All of these images are generated by a free AI tool called Focus that is completely free to use and this is based on Stable Diffusion Excel and this is going to be the best ever free alternative to Mid Journey. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can access this AI tool. So without any further delay, let's dive into the video. Okay, so this is their GitHub page and this is called Focus that is publicly available. And this is the open source code for this AI tool that everybody can use and implement on your local computer. But don't worry about that if you don't have high-end GPU and if you don't want to install it on your local computer, uh, there is a way to run this. And I'm gonna show you how you guys can run this on Google Colab. So these are some key points that they have shared. Learn from Stable Diffusion, the software is offline and open source and free. Learn from Mid Journey, the manual tweaking is not needed and users only need to focus on the prompts and images. So it means you don't have to do all of that manual tweaking that we usually do in uh, Stable Diffusion. And just like Mid Journey, you just have to enter the prompt and it's gonna pick the prompt and give you the best results out of it. So if I scroll down a little bit, so this is their Google Collab Notebook. So simply click on that and you guys will be redirected to your free Google Collab Notebook. First of all, you need to connect the GPU. So simply click on that and your GPU will be connected. So all you have to do, just click on that play button and it will start executing the code. Okay, so after running all of this code, you will find this URL. So you just click on that and you guys will be redirected to this interface. Once you are on this interface, you can see you have a section to enter your prompt and this is a complete blank page for uh, your image generations. Just scroll down and click on that advanced options and you will have few advanced options on the right side. And you can see we have vast amount of aspect ratios and you can see we have two modes, speed and quality. And if you scroll down, you can even select the number of images. You can even change the seed values. You can even enter the negative prompt over here. So. If you go to the styles and this one is a very unique and interesting thing. You can see there's a list of styles. You can pick any one of them. So by default, this is selected on the cinematic style. You can see we have analog film, 3D models, anime, cinematic. So all of the styles that you have ever heard about, all of these styles are available just in one place. And after that, we have advanced options. Uh, you can see this is based on SDXL 1.0. Uh, you can also switch with the base model and the refiner model. Now let's generate something. So I just gave it a prompt, photo of a warrior ready for war. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so these are the output images and look at these images. So this was the first image and look at this. Just look at the details, skin texture, wrinkles, everything is poured on. I have no words about this. And uh, this one is the second image. Just look at the texture on the clothes. Look at the wrinkles around the eyes. Facial texture, skin texture, helmet texture, lighting condition, reflections, everything is poured on. So this time I entered a prompt, cinematic movie shot of a beast with horns made up of fire. And this time I'm selecting the quality mode and now let's generate. And look at this image. This is the first image. So this one is the second image and look at this. So if you guys want to test this model, you can run this on a Google Collab. You can also play around with different aspect ratios, different styles. And uh, I think this is the best free alternative for mid journey. So that's it from this video. And if you guys find this video helpful and you guys want to support me, you guys can buy me a cup of coffee. And if you guys in a space of AI, make sure to subscribe Planet AI and I'll see you in the next one.